In this video, we want to solve the equation x squared equals x plus 30. Okay. Well, first, <clears throat> we want to get this, somehow all the parts to one side and set it equal to zero. That's the goal. So if we subtract an x and subtract a 30 to both sides, all right, uh, separate that, make it two parts. Then we have x squared minus x minus 30 equals, well, this side becomes a zero. Okay. Well, now we want to do what's called factoring, all right? So when I see this factoring, I have a, this basic form, the x squared minus x minus 30. Um, we have some coefficients out here, uh, 1, negative 1, and uh, 30, negative 30. And so my goal is to say, okay, what two numbers multiply to be negative 30 but add to be negative 1? So we want to think, what two numbers we multiply equal negative 30 but add to be negative 1? And what comes to mind here says, what about uh, negative 6 and positive 5? We multiply negative 6 and positive 5, right? Negative 6 times 5 is a negative 30, but when we add these two numbers together, we have a negative 1. And so when doing that, what we can do is then break this apart into two sets of parentheses that are multiplied together because we have x minus 6 times x plus 5. And at the end of this video, we'll go factor it back out and see, uh, foil it out, actually not factor it, foil it back out and see how we can get to this part here and see, that's a way to double check your work when you're factoring, okay? Well, now that we have them separate, we can set each one individually equal to zero, x minus six equals zero and x plus five equal to zero. And we end with x, we add a six to both sides, right? And we have x equals a positive six, as well as subtract a five to both sides and we're left with x minus equals negative five. All right, two answers. So sometimes we'll even see it as a set of answers are negative five and six. And these are the two numbers that work for this solution. Now we can check it back in and see um, negative five squared is 25 times uh, equals negative five plus 30, which is 25, we're good. And you do the same thing with six. Six squared is 36 plus six plus 30 is 36. But what I wanna do with check here is how do I check this part to get back to this equation? Well, let's go foil it back out, my x minus six, x plus five equals zero. We foil that back out, first one together, x times x is x squared. First to the last, um, I don't wanna do foil in the order that way, but we have plus, well, x times five is five x, negative six times x is negative six x. And then six, negative six times five is negative 30 equals zero. And five x minus six x is negative x, right? Negative one x. So we have x squared minus x minus 30 equals zero. And we're back to where we're here. So it's a good way to, to check our work, um, see if we can check our factoring at least, um, uh, to see if we can get back to where we were. 